This is an elderly lady with obstructive jaundice. So the diagnosis is usually pretty clear just from looking at her. She's deeply, deeply jaundiced. Vous allez sentir le tube dans la bouche. Respirez bien. Voilà. Encore. OK. Penchez la tête vers l'avant un petit peu. Avalez un petit coup. Encore un petit coup. Avalez. Encore. Voilà. Merci. OK. So you want to take a quick look in the chest. Some people have described uh, a surprisingly high amount of mediastinal uh, mets in pancreatic cancer. Personally, I, I really don't see it. And we look, you know, we do look, and I just don't see these nodes uh, that often. Into the stomach, you can see her obstructed liver. You can also see that she's, got, she's full of fluid in her stomach. So she might have duodenal obstruction as well. So I'm just going to take a few minutes to clean out her stomach because you don't want her uh, getting into trouble with aspiration. Okay, there we go. So you can see her obstructed liver with uh, the dilated ducts. Take a quick look for liver mets. Uh, liver mets, uh, are, I think, are harder to see in, in an obstructed liver. I don't know if FNA of an obstructed liver is really dangerous in the sense that you could get a bile leak. Uh, but because we tend to find mets so rarely in an obstructed liver, I rarely do FNA. Uh, before they end up getting a stent. So there's, I'm just going to torque now, look for the portal vein. This is the case where the bile duct will, be, will probably be bigger than the portal vein. Okay, so the portal vein, hold on, is coming out somewhere. And the problem with some of these cases, the portal vein, which they should be here, either can be encased by a tumor. So I think it's coming out here. But see, this is her huge bile duct, which is bigger than her portal vein. And then uh, there's the vein coming out there, I believe, right there. Okay, so we're going to follow that. Okay, there it's going to split. The confluence right here. Pancreas, there's a hugely dilated. That's a very globular, hugely dilated, dilated duct, which is typical of a mucinous tumor that's become malignant. So I'm looking for that. There's going to be a mass probably down here in the head somewhere. Uh, but when you get this globular, huge duct and an old lady... Uh, it's quite possible that it's a malignant transformation of a mucinous tumor. So I'm getting down into the head. There, there's for sure a lesion right down here somewhere. We're going to see it better from the bulb. So I'm just taking another quick look at her liver here. There's nothing there. So let's go into the bulb, okay? Okay. There we go. A little bit difficult to get in here. She could, as I say, she could have duodenal obstruction. She has a very large gallbladder there. The, the, the Courvoisier gallbladder, okay. Wow, it's kind of tough to get in here. Excuse me, Mama. Now. Wow. Because if I can't get in much more than this, we're in trouble. Okay, so let's see the côté, madame. There we go. Okay, so now I'm in better. Okay, so there's the head. No, I came out. There we go. I want to try and get maybe right into D2. There's, you can see a bit of a bulging in the lumen. Okay, so there's uh, probably going to be a bodic or a PD heading down. There's the mass right here, interacting with the duodenum a little bit. Okay, and wow, it would be really nice if I could get into D2 in her. Okay, so where is D2? Got to be careful in these little old ladies. These are the ones that, that perf. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, how am I going to do this? There's her hilum. There we go. Torquing right. Trying to get down to... Okay, there's the lesion for sure. Uh, and uh, I think we're going to have to biopsy from here. If I can torque more right and get underneath, it would be good. 
Okay, so what I may, and you can see a bit of due needle involvement as well. Okay, so what I may need is one of you guys to, to hold the scope as I torque to the right. Okay, je prends l'aiguille, s'il te plaît. So there's the, ah oui, s'il te plaît. Elle est pas dans l'étude, hein? Non. Okay. And je peux appeler le Gary P aussi. Okay, and so you can see that there is some duodenal, man, this is tough. Okay, so if you can just keep some torque on here, thank you. This is pretty unusual to have to do that, but It's either her bile duct or her PD. Here's the needle, in we go. Suction, come back out, but try and stay behind the wall. Just sampling all through this lesion. When you see these little, these little white things here, that's very suggestive of cancer. Again, no stylet. Okay. Now, she's getting an ERCP after this, but just remember that if you have somebody who's obstructed and you go into their bile duct, you basically inje infected their bile duct. So you better make sure they're going to get an ERCP sooner than later. So you're trying to want to try to avoid going into an obstructed duct. Okay, I think this should be enough. There we go. And I just want to see if I can really get into D2. Okay, thank you very much. So there's the lesion. Uh, let's try and look at some of the, see there's the portal vein. This looks okay from here. This is all very suspicious. And see what we've got here is this is the mass, this is the muscularis of the duodenum, and this is all thickened duodenal wall. So it is interacting with the duodenum, and that's maybe why there's a bit of a stricture and I'm having trouble getting, getting into D2. And this all, she's scheduled for ERCP right after this, and I think our friend in ERCP may have some trouble getting the job done here. If she has just the nodes, those would be worth biopsying as well. But in my experience, these, you can see the worst looking nodes with, pan with, with can pancreatic masses. And a lot of, like this one here, which actually doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's a big node, but it's not really round. But m in my experience, the, most of the time they're negative, even when they're peritumoral. So I've kind of given up on, 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 on needling those in, in the first place, unless it's really a potentially operable candidate. This lady is, she's about 85. Uh, so I don't think she's really a surgical candidate, so I don't think there's any point in really doing that node. We just need to go for where the, where the highest likelihood of a diagnosis is, which is the mass. Oh, man, this is really bad. There we go. Okay, there it is again. So I'll do another pass over here. Okay, no need to. Okay, so Steve, take a look. So that's positive. First pass. No stylet, multiple pass technique. Yeah. So that's it. So uh, the biopsy was positive. Um, I think she has duodenal obstruction. The vessels, I can look at the vessels again quickly from the stomach. Uh, but as I say, just, just based on her age, she's not really a surgical candidate because from this view, the, the confluence, which is around here, doesn't really look so bad. There's SMV, that looks okay. The mass is down, is down here, I believe. And the SMA, which is right here, certainly that portion looks okay. But I suspected if we gotten into D2, we would have seen some involvement more distally in the mesenteric vessels. So that's it, Samira, and she's gonna 
go for an attempted ERCP after this.